Hello Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for March 2023, from March 1st through the 15th. Let's jump right in and see what's going on with your energy, Capricorn. Okay, we have balance. And we have renewal. So there's some kind of situation to where I feel like you're very grounded at this time. I feel like you're, you know, kind of moving through this kind of renewing period. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of balance. There's a lot of happiness right now is what I'm getting. I feel like some kind of situation, you're at a new beginning of something. And I feel like it's very enjoyable. You feel like this is a very bright time for you. Um, let's see, let's get another message. Okay, yeah, we have ease and grace. So I feel like whatever you're doing right now, I feel like it's really working through you. We have spiritual growth. So you may be growing spiritually or um, just expanding in general. You're, you're growing and expanding, um, Capricorn. There is someone, someone around you who wants you to really listen. Who wants you to listen to what they're saying to you. They want you to um, listen to some kind of advice. Listen to some kind of communication that they're trying to uh, send out to you. So I feel like that's a message for someone in particular that someone is trying to get a hold of you they want to speak to you so they they've tapped into this spiritual telephone line and they're letting you know that yes that communication is there they really want to speak to you okay so that message is for somebody okay capricorn what do we have for capricorn first through the 15th what messages do we have for Capricorn? Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles, okay? And we have the World Card. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, it may be this young person who's trying to communicate to you. Some kind of um, young person in your life. Um... Who wants to speak to you. But I feel like you're socializing. I feel like you're around certain people. You, you're around your, your family. Your network. Your social group. I feel like you have a lot of support around you. You're, you're being around a lot of people is what I'm getting. And you're trying to prioritize the things that you want out of life. I feel like you're like going through this renewed cycle because you're ending one cycle. You're ending one cycle and starting a new one. Um, whatever this cycle is, I feel like it's bringing you a lot of awareness. It's bringing you a lot of enjoyment. Okay. Um, and yeah, you have the, the six of cups at the bottom. This could be some sort of gift that you're receiving. This could be just being around your family and friends, the people who love you, the people who care and enjoy you. Um, but like I said, it could also be some kind of gift, some kind of reunion that you're having. Okay, Capricorn? Um, let's see. Give me more messages, please. What else do we have for Capricorn for March 1st through the 15th? I'm feeling some sort of party. Maybe you're getting ready for some sort of party. Maybe it's an anniversary, a get-together. Maybe you have a child who has a birthday in, in March. Um, but I feel like you're planning. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Some kind of action you're taking. The Ace of Wands. Wow, busy, busy, busy. We have the, the Tower card and the Death card. Okay, you're definitely going through some kind of transformation. Um, I feel like with this Eight of Wands and this Ace of Wands, some kind of spark 
is driving you into this new creative action. And I feel like you're busy, busy, busy. Busy be Capricorn, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, whatever this is, I feel like there there's changes starting to come forward. There's changes. You're going through the process of changing some sort of situation, of renewing of situation. But I feel like these changes aren't going to be truly complete until there's a transformation, until you um, kind of transform some sort of situation. Okay? Um, see, we have the Tower... The death card and the world card. Some sort of change is going to be sparked by this action that you're taking. And I feel like it's transforming you. It could be transforming you spiritually. Maybe it's something that you had to stop doing. Something you totally cut out of your life. Maybe a bad habit that you cut out of your life. Maybe something that you just totally stopped. Um, like maybe, for example, maybe you totally stopped eating sugar because you felt like it was bad for you. Or maybe you totally stopped drinking soft drinks. But I feel like you totally stopped doing something to kind of transform yourself. You're taking action to transform your body into a better vessel. Is what I'm getting. Um, but I feel like whatever this is. You're done with it. You like let it go. You've released it. You're not letting it back in. Um, you've completed that cycle. But I, I don't feel like this is something that's very negative. But I feel like it's something that's going to impact your life. Um, maybe your health in general. Okay, um, let's clarify this message. Tell me about this message a little bit more, Spirit. Tell me about this message more. For Capricorn, March 1st through the 15th. Okay, yeah, we have the Five of Cups. There's definitely something that you're, that you're actively letting go of. Okay. There's something that you're letting go of. We have the death card again. Wow. You're taking action to end something. You're taking action to totally remove it out of your life. Because you see that it's not good for you. Maybe you've decided not to drink alcohol when you're socializing. Or not to do some kind of activity while you're socializing. You're totally cutting this out. But I feel like whatever it is, I feel like it's very important. With the Tower and the Two of Pentacles, we have the Strength card. So I feel like you have a lot of willpower uh, when it comes to this situation that you're stopping, that you're changing. You have total willpower and self-control because you know that this is for your greater good. You, you've come to the spiritual realization that... You know, this is no longer good in your life, so you're ready to just cut it. Cut the cords, release it, let it go. Um, and I feel like you're you're in total control of the situation. You, you're being very strong and capable, Capricorn. I feel like when you make up your mind, Capricorn, you're kind of stuck on whatever you decide anyway. Um... But I feel like you have total self-control when it comes to this situation. Okay, what is this? Okay, with the world card and the death card, we have the six of, of swords. So you're definitely moving into this new situation. You're, you're gaining a lot of ground, a lot of spiritual awareness. You're moving into this calmer direction of your life. Maybe you're cutting out the drama. You're cutting out all the extra conflict maybe you're releasing people out of your life that you feel like are just you know too much you just don't want to deal with the too much stuff no more you know um, but I feel like you're moving past this 
And I'm, I'm really getting a good vibe from this reading. I feel like what this is that you're doing, you're making very positive changes in your life. It's going to bring a lot of positivity. A lot of good things are going to start happening for you because you're removing whatever this is. I feel like what this is that you're removing really wasn't very beneficial for you at all. It really didn't keep you balanced, you know. Um, tell me more about this message for Capricorn. Okay, the Four of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there'll be a reason for celebration um, because you let these things go because you let something end. I feel like you're celebrating that. You're celebrating that you're able to let it go successfully. Maybe like with like now don't get offended Capricorn but like with Alcoholics Anonymous you know you get a chip every time you hit this new threshold I feel like you're celebrating something because you hit a certain threshold after stopping something completely okay um, but I feel like it's reason for celebration it's reason to you know celebrate yourself I feel like you you feel like a brand new person. You feel very renewed. I like I said I get a very happy, a very positive vibration from this reading. So I don't feel it like it's negative at all. I feel like whatever changes that you're making Capricorn are actually very good changes. They're moving you to a better place. Yeah. The Eight of Cups. They're moving you to a better place. You're now leaving this Eight of Cups energy and you're moving into the Nine of Cups. You're finding your contentment. Six of Pentacles. You're finding your gifts. You're finding your balance. This could also be being able to give or receive help. Some kind of generosity. Some kind of gift that you're getting. Um... Maybe you are getting the gift of help, the gift of health, you know. Um, but I feel like whatever it is, it's very positive energy. I feel like with this Eight of Wands energy, I feel like you're definitely driven. You're taking inspired action. You're not sitting back and just waiting for something to happen. You're like going for it. You're, you know... Yeah, and I feel like you're finding your happiness because of it. Okay, let's see. Let's get an outcome. I'm getting going to get another deck because I want to see an outcome for Capricorn. Tell me an outcome for Capricorn March 1st through the 15th. Give me an outcome, please. I don't see a lot of love in this reading, but there could be love that's possible for you. I do feel like this reading is you totally working on yourself, um, finding your spiritual awareness, but still having the ability to celebrate yourself, celebrate your achievements and goals being accomplished. Okay? Um, yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. So Spirit is letting you know not to stop what you're doing, to keep moving. And like I said, if you do have, um, if you are looking for love, there is love that's available to you. You do, you may get an offer of love, some kind of invitation, some kind of offer uh, from someone to maybe go out on a date or uh, socialize. Okay, so... I was wondering if that was going to show up. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like you are finding your stability. You are finding where it is you truly belong in this story, Capricorn. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, the, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you are not willing to stop. 
looking for what it is that you desire and finding that stable, that solid ground. Okay, you're finding that stability. You're you're like looking into this pentacle and saying exactly that you deserve everything that's coming towards you because you are willing and able to achieve whatever you put your mind to. That's exactly what I'm getting, Capricorn. Okay, so beautiful reading, Capricorn. I feel like you are on the verge of some kind of breakthrough that is going to be very helpful. It's going to be very knowledgeable. And I feel like you're definitely moving in the right direction. Okay, let's get some more cards for Capricorn. Let's take a look at the Oracle cards. See what's coming for Capricorn. Okay, we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So I feel like you are challenging yourself, Capricorn. You're, you're challenging yourself to live better, to look better, to feel better. Um, <laughs> those are the words that I'm getting. Beautiful. Okay, we have forgiveness. I understand. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So there may be someone that you need to forgive. You may have the need to forgive yourself. Uh, but there is someone that needs some type of forgiveness uh, in March. There's someone who who is asking for your forgiveness. Okay, Capricorn? And we have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest what I desire in this physical reality. What did I say? I feel like I said that with this Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like whatever this abundance is that you're working on, whether this be your good health, whether this be money, wealth, or whatever, I feel like it's coming forward for you because of the changes that you are totally spiritually manifesting in your life. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. So I'm really loving this, Capricorn. Okay, let's get some angel cards. What does Capricorn need to know March 1st through the 15th? What does Capricorn need to know March 1st through the 15th? And my kitten is playing with her toys. You see, you hear those bells. Yeah, she's playing. Okay. Capricorn. Okay, we have trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow miracles to occur. So I feel like what you're doing is a miracle, okay? We have humanity and benevolence. Stay calm, trust in the good in yourself and others, and see the light in the world. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know to trust, believe, and push on, you know? And, and look at this. We also have supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Trust, believe, and move forward in this process that you're taking. Because I feel like you're on the right path. Okay? And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so, so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising if you would like more clarity on your situation. Capricorn, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.